Talo Falava and warm greetings from the people and the government of Samoa. Please allow me to convey our sincere gratitude and fafitai to the government and the people of Romania for their hospitality and hosting the ITU Plenipot 2022. Excellencies, let me start by echoing the reality that the world has changed. And the changes were driven by the communication technologies instigated from this very assembly, decided by you, the leaders, and delivered by our ITU family. ICT is now an agent that all member states must have in order to achieve their sustainable development goals by 2030. And it is encouraging knowing that ITU priorities is targeting to connect the unconnected 2.7 billion people, promoting meaningful connectivity, developing genuine partnerships, and digital inclusive, bridging the digital divide. Mr. President, some of those unconnected places are the remote islands of the Pacific, with small populations, minimal revenues to service providers, developing states left with a challenge to secure sustainable connectivity. The youth in those unconnected areas are the next generations of leaders of our islands who have yet to realize the power of internet access. Some of the unconnected are the schools in our villages facing high cost of equipment and devices due to the price of oil and freight, the impact of wars on global economy, the cost of natural disasters to our developments, the impact of climate change. With pandemics, small economies are more vulnerable now than ever. However, Mr. President, we have faith in our union. As the Kikali declarations affirm, the commitment to provide support for developing countries, addressing their constraints, considering new and emerging technologies, and the integration of technologies to all sectors to leverage full economic potentials. The ITU commitment promoting international corporations at partnership among members and key stakeholders. Partnerships between developed and the developing countries to share technologies, share knowledge, and the best practices. More importantly, digital inclusive and the preaching of digital divide. The barriers in, is the low digital capacity and skills in the islands like Samoa. Education and capacity building for youth is critical. Access to digital skills and tools are essential for the future. Your Excellencies, the Samoan government remains committed to ITU and its mandate, leading the way introducing innovative solutions for connectivity. We will continue working with our regional organizations, multilateral and bilateral partners, and support our industry pursuing our targets for a better future. Last but not least, for the first time in 155, 57 years of ITU, a Pacific Islander is nominated for an ITU management position. Ms. Nisa Fotai Brasal, for your Deputy Secretary General. And we seek for your support. Vote for Nisa. The Pacific Islands nomination, a voice for the vulnerable states. Thank you and so forth.